If you ever ask yourself, is this guy on steroids, either some Hollywood actor or some business person, whoever else, and you actually wondered, is it actually possible to build a physique like this naturally without use of, you know, illegal steroids? Well, that's what we're going to cover in this video. I'm going to mention some names, some of them you know, probably most of them you know, and some of them you may be surprised by what you hear. So before we go there, click the subscribe button below because on this channel, you're going to learn how to build a high um, energy, strong, healthy, sexy, high performing body and physique as a successful entrepreneur without all the BS that this industry tells you to do, such as taking steroids, <laughs> starving yourself, you know, cutting out carbs, you know, doing 15 hours of cardio a day, etc. You don't have to do any of that. So click that subscribe button and let's go. What's up everyone? This is Coach Amir from sevenfigurebody.com and in today's video, we're gonna talk about steroids and steroid use uh, in the you know, entrepreneurial industry, it's not really common to talk about this because nobody really cares. People are saying, hey, unless this guy is, you know, selling me the, uh, you know, get in great shape program uh, and they're actually just building a business, I don't really care what they do. This is, again, I asked in, you know, uh, on my Facebook and Instagram, I basically made a poll and asked what, what would people think if they knew that their business guru is actually taking steroids? Most people said, we don't really care what they do. Just like, you know, if this woman here, you know, had a boob job or some kind of plastic surgery or whatever, nobody really cares. It's her thing what she does. And I wholeheartedly agree with all of that. I truly do. Except for one thing, which is when somebody absolutely lies and basically is b dishonest about how they got there. And a part of their, you know, like whole ethos of I built this business and I'm this alpha person, whatever. And by the way, anytime you hear somebody say that other men are beta or he is the alpha, that's usually just a, a, a proof that they have, you know, high confidence, low self-esteem, probably low intelligence. It's just a very, very insecure person that, you know, like just when somebody says I'm alpha, I'm like, what are you, 16 or 18? Like, what is it? But that's neither here nor there. So a couple of people that you've probably heard or seen in your life, you know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Believe it or not, there are actually people out there who believe that this type of physique can be built natural. Like if you told, you know, took a thousand people off the street and said, hey, how many of you think that this guy is not taking steroids? I don't know, maybe some percentage would say, well, maybe that's, he just has great genes and he works out really hard, right? Well, that's hilarious. Uh, you have another in this industry, in my industry, I've been in it for 25 years, and I can spot a steroid user by looking at him probably for like two seconds, right? And I've, I will also pull a Greg Doucette here and say, anybody for whom I say that is on steroids, that is just my opinion. And I will also say that there's like 99.9% .9 chance that they are on steroids. There's 0.01 whatever percent chance that they're actually natural. Maybe they have the greatest physique in the history of humankind. And because of that, they look like this while being totally natural. But in reality, we know that it's BS. So for example, you have Michael Hearn, person who is, I don't know, 50 years old or something, looks amazing, very strong guy, good looking guy, like has everything going for him, except that he's been lying his whole life that he is a natural. And of course, in the industry, you know, people who know anything about anything in this industry, of course, we all laugh at it. It's pretty damn hilarious, but he still claims he's natty, <laughs> right? Now, if you ask every single YouTube or Instagram fitness influencer, are they on steroids? Vast majority of them are. And by the way, if you ask yourself, why is that the case? Why are they all on steroids when we know there's side effects, it raises your all of your risk of heart attacks and all kinds of diseases, you know, like blood pressure, yada, yada. It's like they're illegal for a reason. Like there's a reason they are illegal because if they were so safe and nothing wrong with them, uh, you know, like they wouldn't be illegal. Everybody would be able to take whatever they want. Now, of course, one thing to never do is do not ask a steroid user if steroids are safe. Because one of the things that I find the most hilarious is when a steroid user says, I've done my research, you know, this is safe. It's like, okay, this is usually a digital marketer, which means completely clueless about anything in regards to fitness, health, physiology, human body, yet they've done their research. What is their research? They ask the steroid user next to them, should I take steroids? And the dude is like, look at me, right? Now guys, please remember steroids work really, 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 really well. 
In the early 90s, there was a study that basically broke the internet that said, and I'll simplify it for you maximally because it doesn't really matter. They had four groups of subjects, yada, yada, doesn't matter. Here's what actually matters. The group, one group took 600 milligrams of testosterone, so exogenous testosterone, 600 milligrams per week, which is way above the physio normal physiological dose that a human would produce normally. A man produces like seven to 10, uh, you know, so let's say 100 of these, 150 per week, they took 600. So multiple times what a man would normally produce, okay? And then the basically they did that without training. They didn't lift weights at all. They just took testosterone and sat on their asses, didn't do anything. The other group had the best trainers, the best, the best training program. They trained as hard as you possibly can without steroids. So they just basically trained normally. Guess what? The testosterone taking group without training built more muscle than the hardest training group did without steroids. Okay, let me say that again. Steroids alone without training built more muscle than the hardest training possible without steroids. That's how effective they are. They really, really, really work well. And this is guys 25, whatever, 30 years ago where testosterone is considered like, oh, you know, like you take these days from what I hear, I'm not a part of that world, I don't really care. But what I hear is testosterone is basically for kids, like everybody's on it. Now people are taking, you know, clenbuterol, you know, like all these kinds of, you know, trembolone, like whatever actual real heavy, heavy ass steroids that uh, a lot of people are abusing heavily, meaning taking way more than they should have, even if the, you know, the bodybuilders and everybody else is on them. Just think about it. If a Hollywood actor, for example, gets 30, 40 million dollars a movie and it takes them, they need to get in amazing shape in six months or in three months, are they going to take steroids to get there? The answer is yes, of course they will, because the only thing they really have to do is, yes, acting, all that, I get it, but they have to look a certain way, right? So would Dwayne The Rock Johnson be what he is today if he didn't have the body to go with it? Probably not. So was it worth it for him? He has enough money now to pay for the best doctors, to control your, you know, his blood, you know, levels and like everything else frequently enough so that hopefully he will live long enough. Right. Another, of course, of course, example is Arnold Schwarzenegger, who's been, you know, like probably one of the most popular in the 80s actor of all, you know, like all in all of Hollywood. Was it worth it for him to build a physique he had by using everything, of course? Right. Yeah, it was. And he's actually lived a long life. Now, of course, most of his friends who li lifted wa back in the day with him, they all took steroids. Most of them are dead by now because they all die young. And these days you probably heard, oh, bodybuilders dying left and right. It's because of vaccines. You know, they took a certain vaccine. That's why they're dying. No, bodybuilders have been dying for decades and decades, very young. It's just nobody really cared. That wasn't in the, you know, in the spotlight. Now, when somebody dies, especially an athlete, then they're like, oh, he took, must have taken, you know, vaccine. That's why he's dying. Not because of, you know, heavy steroid use for decades. Not because of that. It's because of whatever. Now, no, it's actually the, <laughs> we know that they've been dying for decades, right? So now, of course, you have the, you know, one of the, you know, business people, Alex Ramosi, which, by the way, I'm a huge fan. I love the, the content he produces. I watch all the videos, read the book. I really love the business that him and, and his wife, Layla, are creating. I love everything about what they do, except for he actually claims to be natural, meaning he now says, I'm now on TRT, like testosterone replacement therapy, but before that, I never was. Like, I built this physique, like right here, naturally. Guys, nobody in the history of humankind ever, in history of humankind, built a physique like this, naturally. Nobody. Now, again, I'll pull a Greg Doucette here and say, 0.0000001% chance that he is natural. He actually does have better genes than anybody in the history of the world, and he built this physique naturally. Now, of course, we know that's not true, but just for the legal and other reasons we're gonna say, I'm not claiming he has taken steroids or anything, I'm just saying it's extremely unlikely that he built this physique naturally. Now, the issue that I have with that is, if you are lying about this, how can I trust you to go into business with you, right? That's what I really dislike. And by the way, the sad thing here is if, for example, Hormozy or Dwayne The Rock or anybody else actually came out and said, hey guys, of course I'm taking steroids. Anybody with a brain knows that. And I just wanted to come clean because once you're in that lie, you have to kind of like, you know, come like you have to, there's a consistency bias by Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett always say, when you claim something, you have to later on like die 
if, if need be, but you're gonna you know keep lying about it because you said it then and you can't kind of lose that like integrity. Well, oh, well, you lost integrity when you lied initially about it, right? So the best thing to do is just come out clean and say, hey guys, I've been on steroids. I really felt bad about lying about that. So here's me coming clean. Here's the thing. All of these people think if they did that, like all of the people that followed them would be like, oh, he's a liar and a cheater. I don't like him anymore. You know what? In business, nobody cared. Like literally nobody cares if Hormozzi is on all the steroids, if Dwayne The Rock, if Hollywood actors are on steroids. Nobody cares. Like literally nobody cares. If, And by the way, given that Hormozzi says that, you know, unimpeachable character is one of the things that they look for with the founders of the companies that they invest in or acquire, um, you know, so basically they want to work with people who don't lie, who are actually true to their word. Well, because of this, I predict guys on the, you know, October, 2022, when I'm making this video, I predict that Hermosi is gonna come up with a video or something and say, hey guys, of course I've been on all the steroids. I was very insecure back then. This was the way for me to build a physique to try to get myself worked up. This is by, by the way, why everybody who takes steroids, that's why they take it. They have low self-esteem and high confidence, you know, which basically is arrogance. Uh, that's the definition of it. And they think that by building this physique that is bigger than normal, they will actually get some uh, respect and self, but remember self-worth is self, meaning you can give it to yourself, other people can't. So I predict he's actually gonna come clean. And again, nobody will care. Every People like me are gonna be like, dude, I actually like you even more now because now I'd wanna do business with you because you're actually an honest person. You say when you mess up, it's okay. We've all messed up a million times. And guess what? This is people like me. We're actually in this industry, in the fitness industry, but also an entrepreneur. Nobody else who's not in fitness would care. They'd be like, why is he telling us? Is I don't care if he's on steroids or not. Who gives a shit, right? That's what would actually happen. Now, of course, for people like Dwayne The Rock, where his whole kind of ethos of everything he has, the whole reputation is built on his looks, maybe it would affect him a little bit, but again, nobody cares, okay? So guys, please remember, next time when you see your favorite YouTube, you know, or, or Instagram uh, fitness influencer, other than yours truly, of course, Everybody is on steroids, okay? Why? Because they work. It's an actual shortcut. That's not to say that people who are really have good physiques, they just sit on their ass and do nothing. No, they actually train really hard. Like did Hormozzi beat his ass up and like train as hard as anybody to build that physique? Yeah, he probably did. But steroids helped build this physique into a more than he would normally have. Right, And I always say there are these calculators that you can put somebody's measurements in and then it comes up with what's your maximum nat natural uh, you know, genetic potential. And of course, everybody who's on roads, like for example, Hormozzi and whoever else, would that would show that they're not natural because he has more muscle than he would naturally in any possible way, okay? So all of this to say that steroids really work. They are extremely uh, overused and abused because basically everybody and their dog is on them today. They're illegal for a reason. And of course, the reason I'm making this video is because if you are an entrepreneur who wants to live long and healthy life, because I always say it doesn't matter how long you live, first what matters is to have a high quality, healthy life, but then let's also live longer. Steroids are not the way to get there because almost everybody can build an amazing, an amazing physique 100% naturally. And actually, as you do that and build naturally as much muscle as you can, it's just gonna help you live longer than you would if you had less muscle. On the other hand, this is not true for supra-physiological level, meaning over the normal level. So if you build more muscle than you naturally could by using steroids, this actually increases all of your risks of heart attacks, cardiovascular diseases, blood pressure, you know, liver failure. And that's why all these bodybuilders are dying so young because, and of course they are, bodybuilders are an extreme case where basically they're taking all the steroids in mega amounts and that's really what kills them that young. For example, you can see that Arnold Schwarzenegger is in his whatever, mid 70s, he's still alive, right? Which means whatever he was using back then, he probably stopped. 40 years ago and you know it's much easier to maintain the physique once you've built it than it is to actually build it so maintenance of muscle is very easy so actually what a lot of these people like for example jeff nippert who i believe has one of the best fitness channels on youtube um, took steroids built the physique and then got off of them and is now just maintaining that claiming that he's natty on the other hand you have people like greg Doucette or the uh, noel diesel diesel like these people are openly saying we are on roads we're not natural athletes we used to train you know really hard and we still train hard but it's assisted it's with 
you know, steroids, and they're very clear and open about it. And guess what? They have like millions of followers. Nobody's saying, oh, this cheating bastard. No, because he's being honest about it, right? They are being honest about it. And I believe, and I wish that this industry would go more towards that where I don't have anything about against somebody using steroids. Go for it. As long as you know the risks, you're okay with them, and you're truthful about it. Okay, so if Michael Hearn came out and said, hey guys, of course, for the last 50 years, I've been, you know, like 30 of those I've been, or 35, I've been on all the steroids. We all would say like, okay, good for you. You built a great physique. You, re you work really hard, you know, bust your ass in the gym. You're extremely strong, good looking guy. Good for you, man. Good luck. If that's what you want, awesome. But lying about it is what's the issue. So anyways, guys, hope you found some value in this video. Hope you, uh, you know, found uh, the, the um, topic interesting. I certainly do because I get a lot of questions about this clients and other people ask me, hey, about this guy, is he natural, is he natural? And very rarely do I say yes, because most people are not natural, meaning they're taking God knows what. So anyways, hope you like this video. Share and like that, uh, click that like button below. Subscribe if you haven't. See you next time. Cheers, guys.